I would encourage you to read Luke 18, the parable of the persistent widow. Open your heart to what Jesus is saying right there and join in the cry for justice. As Jesus said, when his chosen ones cry out to the God of justice day and night, he will see that they get justice and quickly, speedily. He's calling us to pray to him. And so I do think this idea of advocacy, while I, I believe we need to do it, we need to do it on behalf of the marginalized, we need to advocate to governments uh, on behalf of justice and just laws, but we need to be advocates before God. We need to be like the persistent widow. We need to keep asking. We need to keep seeking. We need to keep knocking because God loves to hear us pray for his people. That's his heartbeat. And I don't believe we can be close to the Lord unless we really capture that heartbeat and it beats within us. Cry for justice. I cry for the tens of thousands of children who will die today, tomorrow, and the day after that. I cry for justice. I cry for kids who are sexually abused. I cry for women in India. I cry against young men being drawn to the gangster lifestyle. I cry for the indigenous people of Australia. I cry for freedom from prostitution. I cry for children who are hungry. So keep it up. Keep praying for justice. So I invite you believers around the world to join in this cry for justice in prayer and that will invariably overflow into our lives, our action in the